Hi everyone. So earlier Pastor Rob had tried to record this during the church service and unfortunately while he was doing it the audio was really staticky. So I had asked him if he wanted me to send an audio clip for him to put with the video itself when he posted it. Well, when I thought of it a little bit more, I don't always remember exactly what I said during them because I don't go off the paper completely and I do fill in different things here and there. So I decided I would just do a new recording with audio and then he could post this one. Um, today we are going to have a children's lesson on Jesus' first miracle. Um, early in Jesus' ministry, Jesus and his disciples were invited to a wedding celebration. Um, while we, they were at the celebration, the wine began to run out. And during those times, even a poor groom was expected to have plenty of wine for all of his guests. In John chapter 2, verse 3 through 4, Mary, Jesus' mother, told Jesus that they had no more wine. And Jesus said to his mother, Woman, what have I to do with thee? Mine hour has yet come. At this time, we're about to experience Jesus' first miracle. Jesus had told the servants to go and fill up the water pots up to the brim go out to where the bridegroom was and to pour it out to them. As the master of the celebration drank this wine, he was amazed at the taste of the wine. It tasted amazing because of the wonder of the miracle. And Jesus' disciples, now as they witnessed this miracle, had now full wholeheartedly put their faith in Jesus. Jesus did miracles to show us he is God. And in doing so, Jesus began to have more followers that believed in him. Now, knowing in those days Jesus had performed many miracles for people to witness to become followers of Jesus, but in John 20, verse 29, Blessed are they that have not seen, and yet have believed. That's a very bold scripture. Can you honestly say that you believe without witnessing any miracles? I know I can. Because even though I haven't witnessed those miracles of Jesus in person, I've witnessed many miracles of today's world. Feeding the hungry, giving shelter to the homeless, helping others without being told, and most importantly, the one I believe is the most important one, is to bring others that don't know Christ, or they don't even know who Jesus is. And to have them become followers of Jesus and become a Christian. If there's a lesson that you learn of Jesus' first miracle is be the water. Pour out the love of Christ to others. And as you pour out Jesus' love, the others will become the wine. And change from non-believers or never knowing Christ and becoming a Christian. Just want to finish with reading um, John chapter 20, verse 31, and then do a prayer. But these are written, that ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing ye might have life through his name. Thank you, God, for sending your Son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, Thank you for the miracles he did, for the love that he showed, and the miracles and the love that we continue to see. 
Thank you for giving us your word, the Bible, to show us why we can believe in Jesus. Help us to always remember, during all the troubled times of this world today, who Jesus is. We ask this in your loving, forgiving, and amazing name, Jesus. In your name. Amen.